Hey guys, TennisGoYT here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a quick railgun tutorial. This is not the railgun that we're going to be building, and I'm not going to post it to the workshop because I did not build this one. Um, somebody in a public session built this one, but I'm just going to be um, using this to show you kind of like how they work. So, as you can see, this railgun, look how far, look how far the, um, it's shooting the crates, so... This is kind of what we're going to be building, but it's not going to look as good. You um, can change the looks on how it looks or whatever. But we're just going to be making a simple crate launcher, which we call rail guns. You could also attach cannons onto them. Yes, these cannons right here, tank cannons. So the first step is we're going to build a base. So what you do is if you, um, get some simple blocks like this. Just two two by fours. Okay. And now go to gadgets and then get some anchors and then put uh, um, one cor or one anchor on each corner like this. Okay. So now what you do is go to mechanic and then get a rotating servo. And you can program this as arrow keys or um, WASD. I don't really care. But for this, I'm going to be doing left, right. And oh yeah, also for the settings, keep this at 360 at probably 0 0.3 at best. Okay, so now get some simple blocks like that. Okay, and now go to mechanics and get a rotating servo and place that here. Oh, and then code up or down so if the green arrow is going in this direction clockwise and the red arrow is going this um, direction counterclockwise then for the green arrow you're gonna have that going as down and the red arrow going as up all right so now set this at like 170 or like 180 and set this to like 0 0.2 or 0 0.1 okay so now get a block two by four and do this, select the bottom, and make sure it's attached like that. Okay. And get some one by threes and then paste some like here. Perfect. And now go to seats or seats and just get a simple go-kart seat and then paste it on like this and just have it right about here. I'll work, yeah. Okay, now have a block one by two right there, followed with a block two by four right here. And then just go to aerodynamics and then get a wedge and then put that like that so it looks like this. Okay, and now um, we don't really have to decorate this part, but I guess for a tutorial, just get some... Um, blocks like this and then just do this oh. then i guess if you do want get um some shields or something and then just paste some like that okay so now this is um just like the base of the railgun so make sure that all the controls are working so i got left right up oh. oh yeah frick i forgot um have hold position on my bad okay Okay, so now left, right, up, down. Perfect. Okay, so if that's all working, then you can move on to this part where you simply get some pistons and do this. Okay, so what you do for the settings is set the start position to um, zero and the speed to negative 100. Okay. So now clear input for up, and then for down, put in spacebar. Okay. And now, just copy them up like this. And then double click. And then do that. So you have um, two layers of pistons. Okay. So now from here, go to gad or not gadgets, um, logic, and get a distance sensor. And make that so it's um, looking down and get a X or gate and make it so that it's looking up like that 
and I go into assistant sensor and do invert trigger and and distance to zero and then just um, have this distance sensor going into the XOR gate and now in the XOR gate keep the output on positive and then keep the um, right here keep that as space and then don't change the um, red because we don't need that okay so now what you do is go over here to the middle crate dispenser flip this move it in the middle so it's in the center perfect okay so now go to the x or oh wait, actually um get rid of this input okay and i'll go to the x or gate and then power this okay there we go well oh yeah i forgot um they do kind of knock back a little bit like that so just a quick way to get rid of that um hopefully it does work but you might have to do some fine tuning is just copy one section or like half the section to the other side and then just for looks um put some weight blocks on it the uh, 30 um pound ones pounds kilogram ones like that okay you see much better so now should work oh Ooh. oh dang I always forget. I always forget hold position and auto reset. But here we go. Auto reset on. So look at that. Works pretty well. So if you do want proof that this does work, well, here you already have it. But um, really quick. So let's just change the uh, thing on here to one, and I'll show you the difference. So, what you just saw before was with the pistons on. Okay, let me turn on my volume a little bit. Okay, there we go. So, go up here, and then... There we go. This is, so, this is just to power without the pistons. And then, if we do both at the same time, then it goes pretty far, but... You should probably just program it to go on um, one thing, so... Keep that uh, XOR gate on space. Okay. So sometimes the more pistons that you have, the better. And if you do want to do this with cannons, all you have to do is um, just get rid of the distance sensor in the XOR gate and then go to gadgets and then get a um, tank cannon. So I don't know why, but this does not work for a small cannon or tiny cannon. I have no idea if it works with large cannon, but I think that tank cannon's better either way, so there's no point. So now what you do is just uh, exit, because you don't have to really program anything, and then explode. Yep, oh, that's how it works, so you just explode. Okay, but uh, for real, I think you have to set the uh, delay to 0 0.2. I think it should work now, there we go. Look how far those bullets um, shoot, though. I know it's kind of hard to see since uh, they do fly like super fast, but that's like pretty long range. You see all, you see that like they are all, all exploding like really far away. So if you do want to make like an anti-aircraft gun or something like that, or you want to be like a sniper, this is what you got to do. So. This has been Tony Sko IT with another quick video. Thank you guys for watching and peace.